On Wednesday, it was state houses, and on Thursday, courthouses across the state and country, including the Capitol Judicial Center behind me, became the latest victims of emailed bomb threats determined to be hoaxes. You know, today's scenario, uh, unfortunately, second verse, same as the first. The type of message went out nationally. It was nondescript, so the threats weren't specifically to uh, our judicial center here in Augusta or, or Portland. It was courthouses in general across the country. Matthew Clancy is the chief of the Maine Capitol Police, which responded to both incidents. The incident on Wednesday that targeted the State House and Thursday's incident, which was received by employees at courthouses in Augusta and Portland, according to Barbara Cardone, the Director of Legal Affairs and Public Relations for Maine State Courts. The incidents are related. Chief Clancy says they have to take every threat seriously at first, even if they know it's probably a hoax. Um, so then there is the similar exercise, is vetting the credibility and then taking uh, protective measures. And uh, that's what took place uh, today. Chief Clancy adds Maine Capitol Police and police across the state and country are always prepared to respond to any threat. However, responding to these threats costs more than just money. It costs manpower, or as Chief Clancy describes, bandwidth. You know, there are always going to be times when law enforcement will be at maximum bandwidth. Um, but I, you know, I, I guess I would like to come back to the point that there is an awful lot of uh, situation where in a shared a resource availability shared at any given time. According to Chief Clancy, both investigations are being worked on by FBI task force members. We reached out to the FBI field office in Boston for a statement and received the following response. The FBI takes hoax threats very seriously because it puts innocent people at risk. While we have no information to indicate a specific and credible threat, we will continue to work with our local, state, and federal law enforcement partners to gather, share, and act upon threat information as it comes to our attention. While it's not clear clear what sparked these bomb threat hoaxes, Chief Clancy says there are a number of domestic and international issues currently fueling upset and hopes this type of threat doesn't become the new normal. Um, I will say that obviously that um, it creates a new layer for us, but it's not anything that we don't previously have plans in place um, as to how we're going to mitigate, how we're going to initially respond and then mitigate. In Augusta, I'm Corey Bouchard for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.